Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Measuring Harmonics with RTH Series Oscilloscopes. In this short presentation, we'll show how to measure current harmonics using a Rodian Schwartz RTH Series portable oscilloscope. This presentation assumes a basic knowledge of harmonics and how they're measured. If you're unfamiliar with this topic, or if you'd like a brief review, you might want to watch the presentation, Understanding Current Harmonics, before beginning this presentation. Let's start with a brief overview of Rodian Schwartz RTH series oscilloscopes. The RTH is a rugged, battery powered, general purpose oscilloscope that also has numerous features and functions that make it ideal for measurements of high voltage, high current, or high power. The scope inputs are all galvanically isolated and floating, with protection of up to 600 volts for CAT4 and 1000 volts for CAT3. The RTH also offers an offset range of up to 200 volts. Useful power related features include an integrated digital voltmeter or multimeter, 37 standard automatic measurements, and long term data logging. The RTH can be remotely controlled over both wired and wireless interfaces and also supports many additional functions such as spectrum analysis, mixed signal analysis, protocol decoding, etc. Measuring harmonics with the RTH requires software option RTH-K34. This option enables measurements of the first 64 harmonics of the input signal and also calculates the total harmonic distortion. The RTH does this by performing an FFT or Fast Fourier Transform on the input signal and then measuring the fundamental frequency component and each harmonic. The magnitude, frequency and phase of each harmonic can be displayed individually. This option also supports harmonic limit testing, either using the standard EN5160 values or a user-defined set of limits. Note that measuring current harmonics requires either a suitable voltage or current probe. And although this presentation only shows measurements on a single channel, the RTH also allows harmonic measurements to be performed and results displayed on all channels simultaneously. Starting harmonic measurement mode is very easy. Simply press the Mode Hard key on the front of the RTH and then select Harmonic from the list of available modes. In the remainder of this presentation, we'll go step by step through how this mode is configured and used to measure harmonics. Let's start by looking at the basic results display. The amplitude of each harmonic is represented by a bar with a number underneath showing the order of the harmonic. Yellow indicates the present measured value, and dark yellow indicates the max value seen since the start of the run or since results were last cleared. RMS and THD are the root mean squared value and the total harmonic distortion of the input signal. By default, the magnitude, phase, and frequency of the fundamental are also displayed. Invalid measurement results are shown using two types of error indicators. C and F. C means that clipping is occurring and this can be corrected using the range keys or the auto set function. F means that the fundamental frequency was not properly detected, in which case the user should manually set the fundamental frequency of the input signal. The rotary knob on the front of the RTH can be used to select each individual harmonic in order to obtain magnitude, frequency, and phase information for that specific harmonic. For example, here we've selected the third harmonic, highlighted in blue, and the RTH displays the values of magnitude, phase, and frequency for this specific harmonic. There are a number of different measurement settings that are used when measuring harmonics. These include the measurement scale, the method used in computing total harmonic distortion, and the type of value shown, current, max, or min. The Clear Results button can be used to reset these statistics. Although the RTH can usually automatically determine the fundamental frequency, this can also be manually configured. Limit testing as per EN5160, or a user-defined set of values, is also supported. And the number and type of harmonics to display is user configurable as well. Finally, results can be averaged to reduce the effects of random variation in the measurements. Let's take a few moments to look at some of these settings in a bit more detail. 
As mentioned a moment ago, the scale can be set to either linear, that is percent values, or to logarithmic values, where results are shown in decibels or dB. In both cases, results are reported relative to the fundamental frequency. For example, the third harmonic has an amplitude that's about 53% of the amplitude of the fundamental, which corresponds to a logarithmic value of approximately minus 5.5 dB. Next, let's look at total harmonic distortion. The RTH supports two different methods for computing total harmonic distortion. One compares the RMS amplitude of the harmonics relative to the amplitude of the fundamental, and the other compares these amplitudes to the RMS amplitude of the entire input signal. As you might imagine, this RMS calculation type always produces a lower percentage value for total harmonic distortion. A small f or d subscript is used to show which harmonic distortion calculation method is currently being used. One of the most common harmonic measurements is testing against limits, either the standard EN5160 limits or user-defined limits. The per-harmonic limits are shown as blue horizontal lines. For example, this device under test easily passed the EN5160 limit test, whereas this dot does not. Violations are shown in red, and an L error indication is displayed as well. The last setting we'll look at in detail is defining which harmonics to display. The RTH can be configured to display only certain harmonics, or only harmonics up to a certain order. For example, we can have the RTH display only the odd order harmonics, or only triplin harmonics, that is, odd harmonics whose orders are multiples of three. In addition to providing a real-time display of the harmonics, the RTH can also save or export these values to a file using the file harmonic menu items. The resulting CSV or comma separated value file contains both general information about the instrument, settings, and overall measurement results, as well as detailed results for each individually measured harmonic. These results can be transferred from the RTH using either a USB drive or over the RTH's Wi-Fi or LAN-based interfaces. Let's end with a brief summary. Measurement of current harmonics on Rodian Schwartz RTH series oscilloscopes is enabled by software option RTH K34. In addition, either a current probe or a differential voltage probe and current shunt are needed to measure the current. Basic configuration includes defining the fundamental frequency of the signal choosing the scaling type and method used to calculate total harmonic distortion, and selecting which harmonics should be displayed. Testing harmonics against limits, either EN5160 or custom limits, is also supported. And finally, measurement results can be saved and or exported as standard comma-separated value files. This concludes our presentation, Measuring Harmonics with RTH Series Oscilloscopes. If you'd like to learn more about different types of power measurements or Rodian Schwartz solutions for power measurements, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.